So this video is the first video in a unit called proportionality, or looking at constant rates of change. And um, it's a very important concept that you'll use whenever you're shopping, making buying decisions, um, comparing one thing to another, and it's called unit rates. If a, rate is a, if a rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, what do you think a unit rate is? A unit rate compares how much of something per one. So it's getting the idea of if you get a dozen roses for $12.96, how much does one cost you? So then you can look at, okay, how much would five cost you? Once you can get an idea of how much one cost costs you, you can make comparisons, you can um, make decisions on how many to buy based on that. So some examples of unit rates is 30 miles per gallon. So that's, you can go 30 miles on one gallon. And $1.99 per pound. So, you know, it might be more for three pounds but whenever you find out it's $1.99 per pound, or you might go 65 miles per hour if you start figuring out how many miles you can go in multiple hours. You would wanna find out per hour and then look at how many hours you'd be driving. So let's do an example of finding a unit rate. Penelope can type 90 words in two minutes. In how many words can she type in one minute? So per minute, one is per minute. So first I'm gonna label it, and I'm gonna say, it, I'm comparing words to minutes. That's my comparison. And I'm gonna fill in, I'm, I've got 90 words in two minutes. And I wanna find out how many in one minute. So this is the great thing about um, finding a unit rate, is you can set it up like this and you can divide two divided by two equals one, or 90 divided by two equals 45. So you can do it setting up the ratio and that's perfectly fine. But the cool thing is, is if you look at this, 90 divided by two, isn't that the same thing as dividing by two? So you can just look at, whenever you're finding a unit rate, you've got words and minutes. So whenever you're finding a unit rate, you can just solve it like this. You can just divide, 90 divided by two. This line means divided by. So I come over here and I say 90 divided by two, and that's four, one, bring down the zero, two goes into 10 five times. So I still got 45 words, and always label per minute. This line means per. So 45 words per minute. So it's real easy whenever you have a whole number and you're dividing to um, find out what the unit rate is. And just remember this line means divide by. So with unit rates, we're gonna be doing a lot of dividing. Let's look at this one. This one kind of works in, in, a, in a different way. Oh. This one kind of works in a different way. Jeff can type 30 words in half a minute. So words and minute, 30 words in half a minute, which is 5 tenths or 0.5. So how many can he type in one minute? This is per. So you have to say, how, how can you get from half or 0.5 to one? Well, it would be to multiply by two. And so 30 multiplied by two is 60. And doesn't that make sense? In half a minute, 30. In full minute, 60. So it's multiplying by two. So if you have less than half, I mean less than one, or less than a whole whole number, more than um, one, you you have to multiply. 
And, but if I divided 30 divided by 0 .2, 0 0.5, my decimal place would come over 1, and I would add a 0, decimal place over, bring it up, and 5 goes into 30 six times, and bring down the 0, and 5 goes into 0, 0 times. So I get the same answer again if I divide by. And if, if I didn't know that a half was 0.5, I could we do 30 divided by 1 half. And of course that would be 30 times 2, which is 60. So what I hope you're seeing is that there are multiple ways to solve these. You need to pick the one that works for you. So let's try it out. Find the unit price, the price per one, for a two pound package of hamburger that costs $3.45. Now I'm gonna help you set it up and then let you do the math. So the amount of, of um, cost needs to go at the top, $3.45. And that's for, and this is dollars and pounds. And that's for two pounds. So, because I wanna find out one pound, so I need the two on the bottom. It, it wouldn't do me any good to have this reversed. So um, go ahead and divide this out and see what you get and come back and check your answer. Good morning, Spring Forest. If you have duty this morning, please report to your stations. If you have duty this morning, please report to your stations. Thank you. Okay. So you're going to put cost on top and pounds down here, and this means divide by. So you go 345 divided by 2. Your decimal comes straight up. 2 goes into 3 one time. And 1, bring down the 4. And 2 goes into 14 seven times. 14. And bring down the 5. And 2 goes into 5 two times. Now, I don't see this answer, but I see something really close to it. Um, so you have to bring this down and add a zero, bring it down, and now two goes into 10 five times. And this five rounds the two to a three. Sometimes you have to keep adding zeros because that's the only way you're gonna be able to compare, compare and get an actual amount. So a unit price is a unit rate used to compare price per item. So this is what that kind of problem is going to look like. It's going to say pins can be purchased in a five pack for $1.95 or a 15 pack for $6.45. Which is the better buy? So there's a couple parts to this problem. You have to set up, so I'm doing cost and I'm comparing it to the number of pins. And my first cost is $1.95, and that's for five pence. And then I have another deal of $6.45 for 15 pence. So to get a unit rate, I need to divide each of these. So it's two problems, and then I'm going to compare the answers. So if I start this one, one ninety-five. Divided by 5, 5 goes into 19 three times. Bring down the 5, 5 goes into 45 nine times. So my answer is 39 cents for 1. But that's not what it's asking me. It's asking me for the better buy. So I've got to figure that out for this too. So 645 divided by 15 and put my decimal place straight up, and that goes in four times, and that's 60. Bring down the five, 15 goes into 45 three times. So this one is saying 43 cents for one pen. So which is a better buy? 
would you rather spend 39 cents a pen or 43 cents a pen? So I would rather spend 39 cents a pen, so this is a better buy. A five pack is a better buy. So you're gonna have an opportunity to try this one out. I'll help you set it up. It says Jamie can buy a 15 ounce jar of peanut butter for $2.19. So we've got cost, two ounces. And we've got $2.19 to 50 ounces. And then um, we've got $2.78 to 20 ounces. Which is a better buy? Oh, I wrote 50 and that's 15. 15. So I've got to divide this and divide this, get my answer, and then compare them. So work on this, um, get some practice doing it, and then come back and check your answer. So this is one of those that um, I did divide by, and so 219 divided by 15, and I got 14, and then I still had to add a zero, bring it down to get this place with no remainders. And so for 15 ounces, this is the unit rate, and then 278 divided by 20, and to zero it out, I got um, basically 16.9 cents or 17 cents. So that's this, and always look at this as money. This is 17 cents, this is 15 cents. Which is the better deal? Of course, it's this one, 15 cents, or 14, 146 thousandths, or 14.6 cents, and this is 16.9 cents. So you have to look at this as money and know um, how to make the comparison. So here is your homework check. This is just finding a unit rate for comic books. This is um, similar to the one we did in the example that I did, but it's markers um, for different amounts. And you just say which is better, and make sure and show your work and solve it out. And this is a, um, a problem from uh, integers. So make sure and use order of operations, of course, and that will help you solve it. So thanks a lot and do your homework.